be trying out different ways to grow my small business. I am selling at bookstores right now. And this is so tiny, it's so cute. Looks like this. <laughs> Hi, I am Jenny. I am a 23 years old self employed artist. I have already set up my booth at S Light Bookstore. I'm currently trying out different ways to grow my small business. So I've been to markets. And right now, I am testing out setting up a booth at a bookstore. Market is like you need to prepare a table and you need to go there the whole day. And it's really fun because you could meet people in person and you could see their reactions of your product. That was one of the things that I tested out this year. It's been four months and I realized that market was actually kind of time consuming and I probably won't be continuing on attending the same market. Yeah, I realized that going to markets would spend up too much time and I don't have enough time to create new art, um, edit videos, which is the two of the things that I like the most about being self-employed. That's why I took myself to another level. I am selling at bookstores right now. So I have a booth at S Light Bookstore at Ximen, which is in Taipei. There was an artist that was in charge of this area. She created this project. So I signed up last month and she said that there is still space for May to June. So I attended that. There's about 20 plus artists over there. We have like a work shift to take care of the booth. Everyone needs to go there for three days a month and I will be there on the last week of May. It's really cool because you can meet a lot of artists and it's like everyone is co-working together. I don't really know if this works the best but currently I feel like I don't need to spend too much time on taking care of the products and I could create art while my products are over there and there are still customers and people going through and seeing my artwork. The only thing that I'm currently really worried about is that they said department stores can't really avoid thieves. There are people who really steal stuff and I am pretty worried about that and today is May 2nd so it's the second day and I am kind of to be honest I am kind of anxious I'm always kind of worried if my things aren't in my sight I'm kind of worried that if people go through my products and they don't put it back in the same place or if things are stolen yeah so I might I am going I'm going to check out my booth later on, but for now, it's right there and this is what I'm currently working on and this video would also be the progress of how I prepare for this booth. I feel like if you are a small business or you are an artist who wants to sell things, you could try out this kind of booth. I believe there would be similar booths at your country, so yeah. Saw you walking in the street one day it was Sunday You had flowers in your hand you were dancing with your headphones on didn't care that everyone was watching you were moving in the beat Cause swerving in the street just to get a glimpse of
So I came up with the idea of making a label with my product shoot to let people see how the sticker looks like when it's peeled open. I got these two box yesterday for the S Light bookstore booth and this is so tiny, it's so cute but it has all the details at the same time and it can layer up together like this although I don't need to layer it up during the booth but I'm just going to show you this small feature here is the enamel pins and the stickers I made the labels for the stickers but I haven't print them out yet. I'll be finishing on making them. I brought five of each stickers. It's my first time. I don't know how it would go, so I don't want to bring too many. And I have this one. I also bought this one for prints. So my prints would be like this. I've been looking up a lot about like how others do it, but I can't, I seem to can't find one that I really like. Hmm. I still need to make the price tag, the labels, contact info, and about my brand. Mm -hmm. Oh, and the samples of the stickers or the washi tapes. That's what I'll be doing today. thinking about bringing the stand. I don't know if it would be too large for the booth. But anyways, I'm going to test out how the whole image looks. I didn't bring my microphone out with me today, but look what I have. I got my new stickers and they they decorated the folders with my stickers so I don't even have to open it yet to see what's inside. My dad was like, did you choose different colors for this corn dogs on purpose? I was like, dad, that's not corn dogs. I can't wait. I'm going to open this right now even though I don't have my stand in my microphone. Still waking up. I opened the stickers, but I didn't really like the footage, so I'll be showing you right now. Looks like this. So it's Nature Friends. I made a few illustrations, trees, mountains, bushes, and I really like this little bee on top, and this little birdie, and a dandelion, corn dogs. I'll be putting this in my shop, but this is not the only one. I have another one called Weather Friends, but it's not here yet. Um, today is today is Friday, and. It's the end of April, so I'll be having a shop update around May 10th, I think. And I went to the print shop and print out these, which I'll be putting in my Slide shop. And I print out the price tag. I forgot to make the price card for prints. I'll be, I'll be handwriting them. And I made these. These are the labels for the transparent stickers and some other little stuff. The list of products and the contract, which I'll be signing. My friend Except for on the internet, there will never really 
And we are done! Yay! This is the final results to the package. It really fits the in-store product vibes. This is a different one. These are for the bookstores limited. I won't be packaging them like this online because this is kind of way over packaging and I don't really like too much too much packaging is not really friendly for the environment so I won't be doing this if it's not necessary I hope you guys could understand and yeah you get what I mean I have a lot more to do So dad drove me to a site bookstore that night. I was actually pretty anxious at first. I was standing at the sidewalk and I was spacing out. I was thinking of, oh no, it's my first time and I don't, I don't know anybody and I don't know what to do next. And then a girl approached me and she gave me chocolates and stickers and she asked me if I was JC and I was like what? <laughs> she said she saw me at the hangout market so we lined up in two lines the left line was people that were leaving the right line was people that was going in and we went inside with the staff it was 10 p.m. to 11 p.m. we learned about how to be a cashier we have to work for three days in a month for this project and then we started to set up our booth there was like so many people there were about 30 to 40 and there was like so much variety of artworks. I started setting up my booth and I realized that the wooden stand, it looks really nice when you look like straightforward to my artwork but in reality my stand looks like this so it's from up to down because my stand is at the lower layer of the shelf. There was a lot of products that was hidden underneath because it was too far behind. I decided to not use the wooden stand. I took away the wooden stand and just set my products flat on the table. It was already 12 a.m. when we finished and so I went home around 2 a.m. and I fell asleep immediately so I didn't film a lot. The artist that I mentioned that was the host of this project, she was really nice. She also, she's also in a part of this vlog. <laughs> the cool thing about this booth is that they would actually update each order live online so we have a line group and we are all inside and they would take photos of the products that is sold and they would write it down they made an album of the products that was sold each day and yeah I did sold a few items yesterday and it was it was really cool so I don't have to be there in person and I could see how my products are doing and meanwhile I feel like this is a really nice balance since many of you are from the US or Europe while well, other countries we are in the different time zones so most of you guys are watching my videos while I am sleeping and at the daytime I could focus on creating art videos creating content while my products are selling over there at the bookstore which is during the daytime my small business model is literally like running 24 hours each day it's actually pretty cool it's only the second day and i don't know how things would go yet so i will have an update in the future but for now it's like this and thanks for watching another video although i still am really confused about the instagram algorithm because i feel like i feel like i 
have no control and but whatever I, I don't I don't really mind anymore I'm like yeah it's the Instagram thing again yeah but make sure to like if you enjoyed this video and you could subscribe if you want to join me on this journey and I'll be really thankful thank you bye bye of the songs of yesterday Wilted lilacs painting all these Broken memories Blurred reflections on the ice Of you close to me Ooh.